What's up, everybody? Supreme Decisions here. And yes, you get to see me with my headset on because this is actually being taken on the MacBook. So, you know, I had to come do this real quick because it was something that I came across today. And this is Supreme Decisions just for your information. Like I said, one of the things I came across today I thought was kind of intriguing, but it also made me reflect and look back on a couple of things that I've done and helped people out with throughout the years or whatever. But one of the biggest thing is challenging jurisdiction. Now, there are also several ways that you can challenge it. One is through an entry of appearance, which I would actually show you is something that I actually talk about in the master class. It's a simple motion. But the biggest part is understanding who and when jurisdiction can be challenged. Well, one of the things that I actually noticed today that one of the people that I was helping challenged jurisdiction while being the plaintiff thought that was odd. I'm going to say that one more time. There was a challenge of court jurisdiction from someone that was the actual plaintiff. You know, the person bringing the lawsuit or bringing the suit, bringing the charges, however you may phrase it. But here's the simple. I want you to know this. Everybody that get all their internet stuff, I want you to pay attention to this. If I say nothing else that you listen to, listen to this. If you are filing a suit of any kind, bringing charges forth on anyone for anything, you are giving the court jurisdiction to hear the matter. If the matter is heard, you've given jurisdiction to the court. You can then not later because you don't like the, the decision or what happened or whatever. You cannot then later go back and challenge the jurisdiction of the court because you are the one that gave it to him. Always understand that. I'm also going to give you a little bit of something else. There are ways that you can challenge. There are other things that you can even ask for. Even something as simple as setting aside the verdict. Because, again, at the end of the day, no matter what the, the verdict is, the decision is, or however it's happened, you still have an opportunity to get a fair hearing. So understand that. If you are the plaintiff in a matter, you are offering the court jurisdiction. So, therefore... Don't worry about challenging the jurisdiction of the court because you've already settled that. So this is just for your information. Supreme Decision. Don't forget to support the channel. Support the podcast. You can do it through donations, you know, through the cash app. Or you can actually do it through Spotify, Anchor. You can also do it through cash app. So $0.99, cents, $4.99, or $9.99 a month. Supreme out.